hi everyone welcome back here once again thank you so much for clicking to watch this video in this video i'll be sharing how i made this delicious finger licking egusi soup so sit back relax and watch me do this thank you so friends in this particular recipe i'll be doing the frying method of egusi soup i added palm oil to my pot when it was hot i added in my chopped onions you can actually blend these onions and add it at the same time with the egusi i have a second recipe as well that shows you where you can prepare your egusi without frying to the pot after two minutes i added in my dry egusi dry melon already blended i'll just keep stirring stirring so that it doesn't get burnt you can actually add a little bit of water to your egusi before pouring it into the oil but i prefer to do this method I'll just keep stirring. I'm going to do this for about three minutes. This is to help release more aroma into the pot. Or you can actually roast your egusi seeds before using it to cook. This will bring in additional flavor and aroma to your cooking. Please do not forget to give this video a like, share, and also drop me your thoughts. How do you prepare your egusi soup? At this point now, I'm just going to gradually introduce my stock water. Before I started this, I already boiled my meat. All of my proteins are prepped. So the water I'm introducing into the pot now is the water to which I use in boiling my protein. Any protein of your choice can be used. I'll just gently do this. And also very importantly, when preparing a goosey soup, make sure to cook very, very well so that you don't go to the toilet or it doesn't run your stomach because when it's not well cooked and you eat it you have running stomach so after i thinned it out or with the stock water i allowed it cook for another 10 minutes and this is what it looks like time for me to introduce all of my protein back into the pot so i'm using some beef i'm also using some smoked mackerel fish and stock fish all of that goes in and then I'm going to also add in more of the stock water. Please, if you're watching from my YouTube channel and you're not subscribed yet, click the subscribe button. Be a part of my online family. I truly will appreciate that. If you're watching from my Facebook page, please do not just watch and go away. Click the follow button. Click the follow button. Share, invite your friends. I have lots of recipes I'm sure you'll find very interesting. Not just about soup, but also baking and also recipes on how you can lose weight. So at this point, I added in crayfish and the remaining stock water. Of great importance is always strain out your stock water because sometimes you may have particles, bones and all of that. I also introduce dry Cameroon pepper into the pot. I'll now cover and cook for another five minutes. After five minutes, here we are. Mm, the aroma is so, so inviting. At this point, I'm testing. I adjusted the test. It was fine. It was okay. And now I added in my frozen spinach because that's what I have. You can add your vegetable, your ugu, your pumpkin leaf. I let this cook for two minutes. Thereafter, it is ready. This can be enjoyed with any swallow of your choice. Is this not inviting, guys? Drop me your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in another video. Bye-bye.